What's up everyone? Welcome to another vlog. My name is Jessica if you're new here and stumbled upon this video. Um, all right, <laughs> it is a Tuesday. I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed with just different things, different tasks I'd love to check off the to-do list. So we're gonna be productive in this video, I hope. <laughs> um, but for right now, I'm just getting ready. Um, I am finally, finally going to try the thing I've been teasing you all about for like a hundred years, the L'Oreal Age Perfect Tinted Balm, it's happening. Also, I wanted to thank today's video sponsor, which is Hatch. They just launched a new product that has kind of changed our lives for the better. And I'm really excited to tell you guys about it. So I'll be talking about that in just a couple of minutes. So let's try this product. So I've moisturized. I'm gonna be honest with you. I tried this earlier today and I wanted to try it again. So I literally wiped it off because I, thought I was like, okay, I think I really like it. And then I like looked at it closer, like 20 minutes later, I'm like, uh. So I wanna apply it again with a better moisturizer underneath. So I'm still battling a little bit of dry skin just from retinol and stuff like that. And it's not even like dry, crusty skin. It's more like, I, I if you've ever experienced that retinol aftermath, you know what I mean, it's hard to explain. Anyway, so I have a better moisturized base underneath. I'm using the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream and now we're gonna go in with this product. So the shade seemed wrong to me. Like, look at that, I don't know. Here, let me pretend like I don't have a big mess over there. There we go. <laughs> it's not as obvious. I have so much laundry to put away. Anyway, um, but when I kind of blended it in, I thought it looked not bad. So it says to just use your fingers. That's what L'Oreal says to do, to just blend it in with your fingers. What I discovered was you can do that and a little bit goes a long way, but I kind of liked the way it looked when I just grabbed my sponge. Once I'd kind of blended it in the area I wanted in, then just tap it in. The one issue, and I think the reason L'Oreal says to use your fingers is if you put a little glop of it on your face and then just go in with a sponge or a brush, it's not, it's just gonna kind of move around. It's one of those products that because it's thicker, it just doesn't work like that. But what I noticed earlier, and let me show you this in like natural light, is that it's got like lighter coverage. I can put another layer on, it'll build up just a little bit. It looks like skin, which is really, really nice. But I have a strong suspicion this is gonna be one of those products that does not last well throughout the day. It's definitely more emollient, which is why when you first apply it, I think it looks nice. So we're gonna see throughout this video, you'll be able to really see how it's looking and we'll kind of check in to see, especially like on my nose, something like this that I wouldn't call this greasy, but it definitely just has that kind of emollient feeling. But if you wanna see without like my redness and with, it definitely did cover a bit and it does look nice upon application. So we'll see later how it looks. And I'm just so glad I finally tried this cause I've been talking about it for like months, I think. You guys will be thrilled to know Tyler finally replaced. We had one of these missing for the longest time cause it was broken. We finally got a new one because they're fake from Wafer. I can link them if you're curious. But anyway, now our little family of fake trees is together. Um, but look at how like, kind of like ugh, today is. It's not quite rainy. It's just weird. <laughs> There's a little squirrel. I haven't let my hair be natural in a while and it's kind of usually it takes a few times of just letting it ride like wavy curly uh, for it to like get back to the way it usually looks so this is like it's okay all right y'all I'm so excited to say like I said earlier this part of the video is sponsored by Hatch this is a brand I like fangirled over when they reached out because we love the Hatch Rest Plus we have three in all of our bedrooms. We sleep with it as adults. My baby and preschooler sleep with it every night. Like it was a game changer in our lives and we all love it. But we also, this is like our go-to for like baby showers and things like that. We love giving it as a gift. So I was very excited to work with them. Y'all, they just launched a new product. It is called their Hatch Rest Go. This is going to change the way you go out and about with your baby. 
I love it so much. So they have five different colors. This one's in the shade Putty. My favorite one is this one in the shade Slate. It's kind of like this greenish gray. It is like the prettiest color. So this has 10 of their most soothing sounds. It's got the white noise. It's got ocean. It's got the shh, shh sound. You know the one I'm talking about. That sound is a game changer. <laughs> but it has the heartbeat and so many other sounds. The sound quality on this, by the way, is really impressive. That's why we fell in love with the Hatchrest Plus as it was. So the fact that this has really good sound quality is really cool. My Tyler is really big on sound quality. And when we tried this for the first time, he was like, whoa, why is this so good? <laughs> But it's designed for parents to really easily use. It's got three buttons. You hold it to turn it on. That's how you toggle between the sounds. There's volume up, volume down. That's it. But here's the other thing. Other ones we've used in the past personally, and I swear with all the travel we've done with them and just being out and about, we've tried like four or five different ones. None of them have quite hit all of the marks. Some of them, you had to change the batteries all of the time. This one solves that. You just charge it with the USB-C cable that's provided with it. That's it, it will last all day and then you could keep using it at night while it's charging, it will still work. Cause another one we had wouldn't work while it was plugged in. <laughs> But I love that there's no app, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth required. It is that easy. You just charge it and then go. But I really love the ring that it comes with. I showed it to you here hanging on my current diaper bag, but we'll hang this on our stroller if we're going for a long walk and we want her to take a nap. That is a game changer. Hang it right on there. We'll hang it in the car on our car seat. It's drool friendly and drop friendly too. And something that I just thought was cool, it's made from recycled materials, which I think is really neat. So the other colors they have, I'll pop a picture on the screen. They have mint, they have peach. Again, I showed you putty. And then they have honey, which is that really pretty yellow. And then my personal favorite, slate. Another cool thing is you can use the ring just as a stand. So if you have it just on a nightstand, maybe where if you're traveling, whatever, you can do that. I love this. I love the price too. It's $34.99. I feel like for something that is this high quality is incredible. I honestly would have paid a little, don't, don't tell Hatch. <laughs> I would have paid a little more for it. So I feel like for the sound quality and what you're getting, that is an amazing price. So for me, the fact that it is so portable, it's easy to clip onto something. It holds a charge and it's easy to charge. No batteries or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity issues. The sound quality, and I really love I know this is like shallow. I think it's really aesthetically pleasing. And there is something to that. Just having something that you like looking at, if you've got it hanging on something or you're bringing it around with you every day, it's nice to have something that you like to look at. So I'll give you a little demo of what it sounds like. So this is just, I think the ocean sound. This is our favorite, the dryer sound. That's what we sleep to every night. Lullabies, if you've got a kiddo that likes that, Felicity is a big fan of the lullaby one. Heartbeat, of course. This one. Oh, that's a good shh. So here's the thing. We've bought, like I said, we've tried a lot of like travel sound machines, but we've also bought the, I, I don't know that I'm allowed to like name the brand, but the uh, popular product that makes a shushing sound. And first of all, it's not nice to look at, but it's also kind of expensive for the one thing that it does and you can't really clip it on anything, at least the version we had. So the fact that this does that and everything else, I really, I was so excited when I heard that this was the launch. So if you're in the market for a product like this, if you're in that stage, or if you know someone that is, maybe you know someone that's about to have a baby or currently has a baby, this would be an amazing gift for them. Maybe you're pregnant, put it on your registry, seriously, because these, I have a feeling, are going to be really hot really fast. If you want to check out the Hatch Rest Go, I will have a link right at the top of the description box for you to check it out. Like I said, this is a brand new product, so it's a really exciting launch, and I'm so excited to have been a part of sharing about this launch. Thank you so much, Hatch, for sponsoring this part of the video. Good morning. You are being quiet because Tyler's still sleeping. So is Felicity. I'm going to try to go to um, hot yoga because it's been a while. We last night kind of had like a, <laughs> I'm going to call it a low mental health night. Like both of us are definitely feeling a certain way. I'll probably talk about it later in this video, but excited to go to hot yoga. This is a new, it's like a Nike outfit. Um, it's like their yoga line. I just wanted to try it. I can link it below. It's actually really comfy. Feels super stretchy, just like Lululemon. Honestly, price-wise, it was around Lululemon prices, so it's not like it was a savings, but I just wanted to try the line. So anyway, it's their, what was it called? The Yoga Dry Fit line. 
I'll let you know. I haven't worn it for yoga, so we'll see how that goes. All right, I got my gear. I got my, I just got a new yoga mat. It's just like the regular one from Lulu. Lemon. <laughs> Lola. I, I hate when people say Lulu and I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, there I was saying it. And then I've got my big old Big Daddy water bottle towel for on the yoga mat because you just like drench it and sweat and then a towel for myself and then my like wallet and stuff off we go what is up all right we have showered we are feeling <laughs> put together again and not so sweaty but the the class was really nice i am it's like 1 p.m at this point i've been working and actually i was just filming some social pieces for hatch which of course you know this video is sponsored by them so that's what i was just doing was working on filming an instagram story a TikTok. so if you were ever curious kind of behind the scenes of that stuff i always think that's interesting so maybe you do maybe you don't but just got that done so i need to edit those um if you by the way are in the market for like an app that's really good for editing instagram reels or TikToks, like short form i really like CapCut. It, it's something I actually downloaded just to be able to add captions, but I've it's got a whole editing suite. I mean, it's literally just an app on your phone. Oh, that's how I use it. I wonder if, I bet there's a computer version. I think there is. But anyway, long story short, it's been great because you can download that file. And you know, how, like if you edit something on TikTok or Instagram Reels, when you save it to your phone, it's gonna have the watermark on it, whether it's TikTok, Instagram. On CapCut, you can edit the entire thing, no watermark, download it, then you can upload it separately to all of those and it doesn't have that watermark, which is, that was the other like answer I needed. So I'm, I was just glad to discover that app a while ago. Anyway, so on the docket is um, finishing up some work. Like I said, I'm gonna edit this uh, these pieces. I have some just really, Tr not trivial, some just like basic life things I need to get done, dishes over there, some laundry. Wanna have a chat with you guys about some feelings I've been feeling, I've been very in my feelings. Um, so just chat with you guys about that because I, I think what I need to talk about is something that should probably be talked about more. Um, anyway, so first, work. So this is what CapCut looks like, by the way, if you were just curious, you like start a new project and then you can import footage, you can cut, slice things, cut it, split it, move it, do overlays, text, all of the above. So it's kind of cool because, you know, you can kind of play through a clip and uh, literally at any point you can be wherever you want and then split it. So then you could delete a piece, you can stretch it. It really is just one of those tools that I'm like, dang, I can't believe I went this long without knowing about it, you know? laundry time, chat time. I want to talk about burnout <laughs> because Tyler and I are both feeling burnt out. And to be honest, I used to roll my eyes when people would say things like that, like, oh, you know, I'm so burnt out. And I'm like, oh really? You have, your job is YouTube, you're burnt out. Tell me more about it, you know, especially when I was teaching and I was like, dude, you know, so I know how some of this, I hope that what I'm gonna say is not gonna be misconstrued. I've talked about burnout before on my channel. Here's the thing. I posted on my Instagram and said, sorry, I've got like peanut butter in my throat. <laughs> I posted to see if any of you guys had any questions or topics you wanted me to cover while I just like fold laundry and chat with you guys. I love doing this by the way. And when I tell you like every fifth question was about burnout or anxiety, it was al like alarming. And I'm like, what is going on? Like is something going on? Like we're all feeling this certain way. Is it the time of year? Is it, like right now we're facing yet again the terrible air quality, so we really shouldn't be outside much. Like, anyway, what's going on? <laughs> I guess that's my point. It's just so interesting that I'm definitely not alone in how I'm feeling, but Tyler and I had a really good conversation yesterday about this, because we were both feeling really low and low energy and not motivated, and we kept postponing things. We're like, we just, neither of us could really pinpoint what was going on. And finally, it came to a head yesterday where we were like, we're both burnt out, not just from one thing, but from everything. And so as we kind of went through like the past few months, we're like, you know, we really, even when we travel, we vlog it, that's work. And it, it's fun, you know what I mean? I obviously enjoy it, but it is still work and you have a different mindset when you're doing that versus if we're traveling and not vlogging it. And so 
we've kind of tried to set some goals to be like, all right, and, and see, this is what kills me. I feel like this, well, I don't know if it was this time last year, but I feel like a year ago, I sat down and talked about the same thing. And I said, I'm going to intentionally set aside time as I look at my year that I don't accept a bunch of sponsorships for like a few weeks. So then I don't feel the pressure of meeting certain deadlines. I can film or not film, but I can actually take some time because obviously what I do on YouTube is not normal. Right, I mean, it's not, it's not a normal job, if you will, whatever that really means, but because it's not a normal job, it's a creative job to, on top of that, it's easy to just not stop because it is enjoyable, you know what I mean? Like day in and day out, I'm not like, it doesn't feel like drudgery, but I think that's why burnout sneaks up on me. It sneaks up on me because I don't, I'm enjoying the day in and day out and I like vlogging and I like filming videos and I even have an editor and that, <laughs> editors, and that has been a game changer. And so I think that's just how it snuck up on me. I didn't realize that I really had not taken any time to just do things I enjoy enough. And I guess my point is, if you are feeling this way, like for me, I was kind of looking up some of the signs of burnout and it was actually really interesting. Let me, let me just Google, and again, this is just Google, so take it with a grain of salt. I'm not a doctor, Google is certainly not a doctor, but I mean, you know, generally a lot of the signs were similar on like multiple different sites, but one of them, exhaustion especially like unexplained exhaustion. Like you, you really have been sleeping okay maybe, but you just day in and day out feel exhausted. Um, dreading work, trouble sleeping, depression. That's another one. Like I feel like I've had random depressive episodes. Like yesterday I had one, today I had one, but then it would like leave. So it was, it was different than like what I'd felt with postpartum depression. The feelings were the same, but it would just come and go. And it was very bizarre. Negativity, irritability, unexplained tension, headaches. This one really got me feeling helpless and drained, endless anxiety, feeling overwhelmed, overly tired, feeling numb or apathetic about life. So like those kinds of things, you might be hearing me say this and think like, oh my gosh, that's what I've been feeling. You might be burnt out. Now it also could be something beyond. And you know, if you try to take time away or whatever that looks like for you, do things you enjoy, and you're still feeling this way like weeks later, then, you know, maybe it is something more serious. Although I think burnout can be pretty serious too. But point is, it really was kind of, I don't know. I Sometimes I feel like putting a name to something you're feeling can be really almost freeing. So like if I'm like, okay, Jessica, what you're feeling is burnout. And here's how it happened. What can we do to like move on? You know what I mean? And so that's kind of where I'm at. Like, what can I do? So like I said, well, I don't know if I said it, I might've just thought it, but one of the things I wanna do is take a month that's coming up where I only have, I think, one sponsorship and not accept any more. And so that I can have that time. We have a big trip planned during that time too. Um, so it'd be, it's kind of like the perfect thing. Cause even when I would travel, I would also try to pre-film, make sure they're ready to go. You know what I mean? So it ended up being the same amount of work just squished into less time, or I'd be working on thumbnails and links while we're in our hotel or whatever. And so I guess my point is it's just not a healthy balance. My job is already weird enough because I share so much of my life with you guys. And when I add on the fact that I'm not taking any breaks for myself, that's that's not healthy. So anyway, enough about burnout, but I wanted to talk about it because I think it's one of those things that's not often talked about, but the symptoms can feel very severe. And even talking to you guys right now about this makes me feel better. So one thing I always, piece of advice I always give to people, if you are feeling a certain way, whether it's depression, anxiety, um, hopelessness, like any of that, again, there's a lot of power to talking about it to someone, to your spouse, to your best friend, to your mom, your dad, your sister, brother because it almost like takes a little bit of the power away from it because then you feel like you're not just suffering in silence. There's definitely something to it. Um, so yeah, that's one piece of advice I have. If you're feeling this way, talk to someone too because that alone can be kind of just nice. <laughs> Okay, so I we're gonna go on a brighter note because I, I don't wanna dwell on that because we're moving forward. I'm gonna take some steps to kind of figure some stuff out for me. But um, I was taking some screenshots. You guys asked some really good questions. Yeah, seeing all of the questions about burnout, anxiety, mental health, yep. Do you return makeup you don't like? <laughs> um, well, I, if you saw my previous vlog, I did in that vlog return um, something that wasn't the right shade. So 
to be honest, I'm not very good about returning makeup that doesn't work for me. And when I say doesn't work for me, I mean like shade wise. It's such a tricky subject to broach because, you know, some people feel like, I mean, I'm pretty sure, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure like if you return something to like Sephora Ulta, do they, don't they just like throw it away or something like from a cleanliness standpoint? I don't know. So that's why I'm always hesitant because I'm like, ah, oh, that seems so wasteful. But then there's also the, you know, the other side of the coin as well, but you spent your own money on it. Like you should deserve to get like a shade that works for you. And that's why with shades, I'm better about returning it or exchanging it for the right shade because I'm like, well, I mean, I literally can't use this versus something I tried and just didn't like. Now, given what I do, if I were to return everything I didn't like, I mean, that would, I feel like that's just, that I just don't, I, I keep most of what I don't like. But I mean, for me, I mentioned it in another video, I might show it again, I try it again. Um, and sometimes it's something that doesn't work for my skin type, but I can pass it on to a sister or friend that it would work for. So, you know, I don't really have a black and white answer on that. I, every once in a while will return stuff shade wise, but generally, Generally, I don't return very much makeup. Are you still enjoying your shark flex style? So if you recall, that was that um, hair tool. It's pretty expensive, but it's the dupe for the Dyson Airwrap. I think it works. I've, I've gotten pretty adept at it, but here's the thing I realized. It does the same, I feel like my hair's looking weird. I, do you ever like miss a hair? Like every time you're curling your hair, like there's always one that like sticks out. You're like, oh, I totally missed that. Anyway, um, like today, I just blow dried my hair straight and then I just used my big curling wand to do this. And it it's kind of one of those like, kind of fell, it's just low key. It actually really does not look that great at all. So this is not a good example. My thing is, I can get the same look I get with the air wrap or whatever it's called, the, the flex style. Very similar look as what I get with just my curling wand. And I feel like the curling wand is faster. And so it's kind of one of those things like if you know you would use it and you like the idea that it's kind of an all-in-one thing, you might really like it. And I would definitely say get the dupe versus the, because everything I've seen comparing them, you it sounds like you really don't need to spend the money. Like I said, the flex style is effective. It works really well. It's just that I, I don't, I have not found myself using it as much as I thought I would which is stinks. I mean, you know, so yeah, I was just looking at it in my drawer today when I was deciding what I was going to do with my hair. And I was like, I'm not going to use that because <laughs> it takes me longer. <laughs> Plus your hair has to be slightly damp. So I did end up buying like an empty hairspray bottle from Amazon so that I could have water in it. So then I could re-dampen my hair because it definitely works better with slightly damp hair. Anyway, Okay, so I, I guess, yeah, the verdict on that is I do like it. I just don't know with, with the way that I do my own hair how much I'm, you know, like I'm already not using it very much. Love that I've got these random piles of things and nothing really, I'm, well, I've got some piles that make sense. I had already folded a few things. Do you ever, like, when I'm getting clothes out of the dryer and I know I'm not able to fold it right away, as I'm pulling things out, I'll, like, lay out any shirts that need to be, like, hung up. I'll kind of drape them over the top so that way they're not getting so wrinkled. Um, or like Tyler's shorts, man. He's got like all of these like chino type shorts and they get weirdly wrinkly unless I fold them right away. So a lot of those I'd already folded. Oh, did you get in with the vocal coach? Updates. Okay, no. She never responded. And I like reached out to her in like so many different ways. So I'm like, did I share too much? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So um, I was a little disheartened about that. And then I reached out to another person that I know personally um, about being um, a vocal coach and he never responded. My guess is though this person is so busy, literally in the theater world right now that I'm like, and even Tyler was like, you know, I'm like, yeah, I know. But I figured why not shoot my shot? So I did, didn't hear back, but that's okay. That one I, I, I expected to not, but I did reach out to, and see this is where like, Things are like kismet. Um, someone that you, I think he was a musical director in a show or two that I was in. Um, and he is lovely and he's really good. And he used to teach in a school setting and he just retired. And it, it see, this is where I'm like, the way things work out, 
I had just seen that he posted on Facebook that he was like, I just retired. I'm planning on doing like private voice lessons. If anyone's interested, you know, let me know. And I'm like, oh, you're kidding me. And so I did reach out and he did respond. So I haven't set it up yet because he literally just responded like a couple days ago, at least at the time I'm filming this. So definitely going to get that going, but it's just been exciting. I've been trying to, um, continue to like warm up when I'm driving in the car. Like there's so many different YouTube warm up videos, you know what I mean? So if you're curious, I identify as a mezzo soprano. <laughs> so to piggyback on that question, uh, would you ever do musical theater again? Yeah, but not right now. I, I know I've touched on this before. Uh, we just, we don't really have the time. <laughs> as I speak about burnout and doing things I enjoy. I feel like doing voice lessons and just singing more in my day-to-day -day life is gonna be what I've been missing. I think it's gonna be enough to kind of fill that bucket that I'm wanting to fill. But being in shows, there's such a time commitment to it um, that with the kids being young and stuff, like Tyler always says, but I, I get what he's saying, like. It'd be really cool as they get older if they were into it, if we were just all involved in productions. Like we knew people growing up that were, that did that. Like all of them would either be in the show and like the kids would be in like the kids course of the show or they would work backstage, you know, all kinds of things. So we'll see. And before anyone asks, no, we are not gonna force theater or music or anything in onto the kids. We wouldn't force anything onto them. Um, <laughs> we all know that forcing things onto your kids when it comes to like that is not usually the best idea. What well, our kind of um, MO is basically just introducing her to stuff. So like in her preschool, she's able to try like ballet, they've got gymnastics, yoga she's been doing, which is just cute. Kids doing butterfly poses or whatever they're calling it. Anyway, um, but yeah, so just trying to introduce her and then let her, we're kind of following her lead. Like ballet has been something she really liked. So we might, especially once she gets like into kindergarten, sign her up for like ballet outside of the one they do in school. So, you know, we'll see. That's kind of our goal with that. We're obviously neither of us, we both played sports like for a season or two in our life and it was not for either of us. <laughs> so with that in mind, like I would be pretty surprised if either of them end up being sportsy, but I also feel like that's the way it goes. Like it's always like the opposite of what you're into, the kids are into. So we'll see. I know she wanted to try soccer. So that's probably something we would sign her up for and let her try that out, see if she likes it. What happened with the block soap you use to wash your brushes? Did you like it? Okay, so that was the Zote soap. And it's like pink, it's like a couple dollars. I think you can get it at Walmart. I might've gotten mine on Amazon. It works really well. I'm gonna be honest, I have not washed my brushes since the last time you saw me use it. I know I'm terrible. Um, now I wash my sponge all of the time and that I have decided I don't like that for my sponges. I still like just using my Dr. Bronner's like unscented Castile soap, it's a liquid soap. Um, and that I also still recommend for cleaning brushes if you don't wanna use the, the bar soap. My thing is with the bar soap, I need something to store it in because it's just kind of, like I have to leave it out to dry and then it's just kind of like loosey-goosey under my sink, which I don't like. And so that's kind of a piece of it that I need to figure out. So if you have any recommendations for a like soap holder, I mean, obviously I know, but the zone soap is like bigger. It's not as small, it's not a normal size. So let me know. But yeah, I do think it's really effective at brushes or at, yeah, cleaning brushes. Favorite dessert if calories don't count. Um, girl, you enjoy that dessert either way. Um, but my favorite dessert would probably be uh, anything that's like chocolate mousse like a chocolate cream pie is up there because you got the chocolate mousse, you might have like some whip topping, you've got the pie crust, like that combo of textures and like it's cold, oh my gosh. That, I am a big fan of anything that's like chocolate mousse based, I'm like that, that is what I want. I also just like low key, if I'm making a quick dessert like with the kids, I love Rice Krispie Treats so much, you guys. Like I could eat, I could make a pan and I could eat the entire pan in one sitting. I wouldn't feel great after it, but I could do it. <laughs> and I could do it without even realizing I was doing it. Rice Krispie Treats, again, it's of course the taste, but the texture of it, like, wow, that is a top tier dessert. I feel like it's so like slept on because I don't know, as a kid, we had it all the time because it was, you know, two or three ingredients with butter. It was easy to make, you know, it would take two seconds. You don't have to bake it or anything. Um, so we had it a lot. Maybe that's why I love it so much, but either way, that stuff is, so good. Uh, how often do you and Tyler try to have a date night? Not often enough. 
Um, I think by the time you're seeing this video, we will have gone on a solo trip together just for a few nights. And that we are very much, especially like considering what I'm talking about, we are very much looking forward to. So um, that's gonna be really nice. And again, we're not vlogging it, so we're taking our own advice and we are, are truly trying to recharge our batteries together. And I think that's part of why like our conversation last night was so nice. We, we talk all of the time, and this is gonna make me emotional because it's so easy to forget to like actually talk to your partner, especially when you're throwing in all the things life throws at you, whether it's kids or not, kids add, you know, a rent, throw a wrench in things. They, you know, are capturing your attention all the time, but then also like work and just all the other stuff. Like it is really easy to go through weeks and months without really talking to your partner. And I think that's part of why last night was so powerful for us just talking because we needed to, like we needed it. And so in our discussion, we also decided like we, we have got to regularly do date nights. It's not that we don't ever, we absolutely do, but we need to be more regular about it um, because I think we're like, you know, we see each other, we hang out every night, but you know, hanging out and like watching TV together and like we'll play games and stuff too, but it's not, the same as like being really intentional with your time with your partner. So that's something, again, we're gonna try to be better about, um, especially since we're lucky to have a lot of options for babysitters. Like even one of our neighbor kids is so great. I mean, she's not even really a kid anymore, which is crazy because when we moved in, she was. Um, so yeah, definitely wanting to. So we're wanting to try to do every other week. One night every other week, I think, because we talked about doing every week. We were like, I, that would be awesome. But again, with young kids, sometimes it can be just as much work to leave them with someone as it is. This. So we figure every other week is a good goal. Because as of right now, I feel like it's like every other month. I don't know. Ah, are you going to the Taylor Swift concert? No. <laughs> we, uh, trust me, have looked into tickets. Like the closest one was Cincinnati. And um, it's... Yeah, no, tickets are so, I mean, we're talking thousands of dollars, you guys. I will never forgive myself. Obviously there was the whole ticket snafu, but I'll never forgive myself for not even trying to get tickets back when they were first being sold, just because I am such a fan. Now I have seen her live before, so it's not like, you know, and that's kind of what Tyler and I were talking about, like, you know, I'm lucky that I have seen her live, so it's not like I've never ever seen her, but I'm like, oh, but this tour is so cool. <laughs> Ooh, we are almost done. So I am going to let you go. I need a snack. I'm having one of those days where I am just consistently, I'm just like hungry all day. You ever get like that? I'm trying to eat more protein too. Like, okay, I'm, I'm trying to feel full, but man, nothing's making a dent. You know what probably would make a dent? A Big Mac <laughs> and fries. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. I basically just have some socks to pair. So thank you guys for keeping me company while I got this done. I'm already like at the point where I need to do laundry again. <laughs> All right, a few updates. I just found an audiobook called Burnout. Well, it said burnout, burnout, burnout. It's like stopping the cycle. It had really good reviews. I just downloaded the Audible version because I'm about to be in the car. So I was like, I'm gonna start listening to it because apparently it's got a lot of tips and tools and stuff to help with burnout and I could definitely benefit from that. So I figure I'm just gonna give it a listen and see how I like it. Uh, other thing, I got some things to return. I got some Amazon returns, uh, Lulu's return. I bought a few dresses from there. Um, actually, I bought three knowing I wouldn't keep all three, and one of them I really liked. The other two were way too small on me, but also just the cut, I was like, it's not right for my body type. So returning those, and um, I have another FedEx return that's like already ready to go. So anyway, I need to go to FedEx and UPS, but I also need to go to the store and I also need to go get the girls. So like looking at the time, I'm like, I don't know that I'm gonna have time to do all that, but the store has to happen because we are almost out of whole milk, which Felicity drinks and then just other things. So yeah, anyway, I, I we'll see what I get done. Oh, but in the spirit of productivity, I also got a uh, load of laundry started. We needed to wash our like whites you know what I mean? Like we have like white towels and stuff like that. So that is good. So let's hit the road, Jack. All right, FedEx done. All right, UPS done. Anyone else get like needlessly nervous about like I had three Amazon return codes to show and I always like take screenshots. Like I make sure I'm ready because I don't want to be like fumbling through my Amazon account trying to find them. I get like weirdly anxious. All right, got the girls. 
got the gas tank filled, and now we're stopping at the store to get a few groceries, and then we're going home. It's been a long day. All right, we are watching a little bit of Sesame Street, so I figured I'd show you just the few things I got at the grocery store. Like I said, this was kind of a quick run. Really, the thing I needed was milk and diapers. Everything else just kind of were things that we could use in the next day or two. All right, so we got some whole milk for Miss Felicity, um, some deli meat. Tyler's a big fan of ham, so he was like, get some ham. Um, <laughs> Gigi loves these. <laughs> um, so I was like, whatever. I, honestly, I opened it in the store so they could just eat some because they were just fussy because they're tired. Um, got some of these little snack bars. Something's going around. So I got these just to have these PD Light Freezer Pops just in case. Um, we've got bananas as always, some bread, Chick-fil-A sauce. I actually bought some honey mustard too, but we're using that right now. Uh, got some soup. Again, same reasoning, something's going around. So just to have some chicken noodle soup and then applesauce packets, some cheese sticks. <laughs> this is what happens when I shop with Gigi. She's like, ooh, can we get those? <laughs> like, all right. Anyway, so we just got a ton of cheese basically. And then the diapers we needed, she's in size four. So quick little run. All right, just started the dishwasher. Tyler and I watched some more Abbott Elementary, which was amazing. Dinner tonight was brought to you by McDonald's which was also amazing. Just one of those nights. But y'all, I don't want your judgment. We got the McDonald's delivered. <laughs> I have never done that. It was totally awesome. But uh, yeah, making some, I just set the coffee and I'm making some calm, which I have pretty much every night. Tyler usually drinks it too. It's This one's the calm plus calcium, which we started taking because I figure, I mean, I feel like I could always use more calcium. Um, but it's a magnesium supplement. It's just like a powder you put into water. I like it with hot water at night, but it's helped a lot. I've gotten some questions about it. I used to have really bad restless leg syndrome and it has helped so, so much. Like ever since I started regularly drinking it and start slow, I think it's like two scoops. I still only use one scoop. Um, cause if you go too much too fast, like you can get, you can have like digestional, what am I trying to say? Like it can give you diarrhea um, if you go too fast too hard or make you feel nauseated. And you'd know, I mean, you'd know what caused it. Anyway, I, I digress. My point is take it slow, but um, I love it. I feel like it took like maybe two weeks of drinking it regularly to notice like that my legs weren't bothering me in the middle of the night. And like, it was to the point where I was like, it was like always bothering me. They'd be like, they're buzzing. I'd feel like I needed to like move them and stretch them. They'd be kind of achy. And that has not been an issue for a very long time. And that that is the change I've made. So highly recommend. Anyway, I am gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it was kind of a weird mix of things. Um, and I was kind of giggling because I'm like, gosh, if I were to sum this vlog up, like it was supposed to be a productive vlog and we were productive, but it's funny that in the end we chatted about burnout and I feel like burnout and productivity would be like opposing forces. Um, but I feel like it was good for me, A, to have that chat, but B, just to actually get things done because for me, a lot of the, because I was feeling burnout with other things, all of the rest of our house suffers because of it like you know what i'm saying like i i feel like i can't focus on anything so then i just don't get anything done but like certain things do still need to get done so anyway i hope you enjoyed thank you again to hatch for sponsoring a part of this video if you want to check out the brand new hatch rest go i will have the link right at the top of the description box for you to check it out i love it so much and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye